it's Cam for Titania, and today we have a video for you guys. Apple just announced, <coughs> sorry, Apple just announced hot off the presses that they've got the new iPhone 4S. 4S. That's a big disappointment for me. There's no iPhone 5. What's going on? That's just, uh. So, no iPhone 5. Big disappointment. Definitely will not be upgrading for me. I'll probably get some footage of my somebody I know having one. Anyway, point is, all they really did was add an 8 megapixel camera, and they added an A5 chip, which is dual core. So they added in that sounds it looks like an 8. They added an A5 dual core chip, and they also added an 8 megapixel camera. That's it. That's it. Everything else, the software is just, you know, they did add Surrey, which is their new voice magic thing. And they're actually making this an iPhone 4S exclusive, probably just because they want some. They want to give people a reason to buy the thing. Because if they were to give this to the iPhone 4, which I'm sure can handle it, people would not even be interested in the iPhone 4S. All it's got is an upgraded um, camera and a dual core processor. I am really disappointed. I don't even know what Apple's doing. They should have just waited until next January. I mean, next uh, June. This is just a massive disappointment, in my opinion. Uh, they say that they also um, have included the graphics are improved by seven times. They've added 1080p video capture. Uh, they say seven times graphics improvement, so that's good. Also say you know twice as fast because the dual cores. The Surrey thing does look very cool. I can say that. Like if you just I, if you watch the Surrey video, which I'll probably have on Titanium.net, and you can go to Titanium.net in the description. The Surrey video was very cool, but still, no iPhone five. They say it's loading web pages faster. It's got all the new features of iOS five, like the reminders application and everything. But I am still massively disappointed at the fact there's no iPhone five. This is just an iPhone 4S, plus they've added the dual-core CPU, A5, and they've added an 8-megapixel camera. That's it. And it's 3 grams heavier. Oh my gosh. All they've added is these two features. That's it. They've added, you know, the ability to, you know, have both the CDM and GSM version of the same one, so you can, you know, do world roaming. But, like, real new features that, like... Nothing. This is just pathetic on Apple's part. I am incredibly disappointed at them. I don't know what they're doing. This is just just stupid. Anyway, um, that's there's not much to talk about. I thought I was going to have lots to talk about today with this video, but nothing to talk about. Like, you know, if you got an iPhone 4, there's no reason you should upgrade to this thing. I personally am waiting for Samsung and Google's Nexus, Nexus you know, event next week. They're probably going to announce the Nexus Prime. There was a photo leaked of the Nexus Prime today. And that is going to be where I am at. I think I'm going to be a Nexus Prime owner happy because Apple decided to just shun all their users away and try to rip them off for a whole other however long with this hardly upgraded device. I'm really mad about this. This is just, just unimpressive. It's not a really, you know, it's not even evolutionary, it's barely evolutionary. Two features, and they're only, like, a better camera and slightly faster CPU. Like, that's really not impressive. I won't, like, if they were going to do this, they at least could have made a bigger, they at least could have knocked this screen up and made an edge-to-edge -edge screen. That would have been a little bit more impressive, maybe if they made it a tad thinner. Um, yeah, had the edge-to-edge -edge screen, had the dual-core and the 8-megapixel camera. Then, I feel like if they made that screen, you know, 3.7, 3.8, maybe even 4 inches, then this would be a real worthy upgrade, because you're really getting a new phone, you know, with a slightly bigger screen. But this is just an iPhone 4 with a dual core and an 8 megapixel camera. You know, those are features that people thought were going to be in the last iPhone, some people. Anyway, so, that's been a lot of the features of the new iPhone 4S. As I said, iPhone 4S. There you go. I don't know if Apple's going to have another iPhone 5 coming, maybe next January, or if they're going to, like, I don't know, maybe if they're waiting out for that new curved glass technology, but as of now, pretty disappointing. Uh, if you're going to grab one, put it in the comment section below, maybe you are. Uh, they also did announce there will be a Sprint version coming, which is pretty good, if you are on Sprint and would like that. No LTE or WiMAX at all, nothing like that. Um... 
pretty basic announcement. They announced some new features in iOS 5. I'll be having a whole iOS 5 video coming soon. This is coming out on the 14th of October. So 14th of October in Canada, the US, a bunch of other countries. Um, and then on the 28th of October, like the rest of the world. So, you know, Apple's top markets on the 14th, 28th, the rest of the world. Definitely not much here. iOS 5 is also coming out on the 14th and iCloud. So we'll have lots of impression videos coming on those devices. Next week's going to be crazy again because we're going to have the Nexus Prime and iOS 5, all of that. But right now, as I stand, I'm incredibly disappointed with what Apple's done here. It's really lackluster, really nothing special. And that's about all I have to say. Uh, Steve Jobs made no appearance. It was just Tim Cook up on the stage. Like, I was okay with this event. I thought this event was going to go all the way. Everything was going to happen. And at the very end of the event, Tim Cook was going to walk off. Steve was going to come back on and say, well, there's one more thing and announce the iPhone 5. Then it would have been fine with Apple having a slightly updated iPhone 4 version for the lower end. But, but there was no iPhone 5. I, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, Cam for Tectania. I'll see you guys in the next video.